How y'all doing? I'm Fast from Fun Loving Criminals. Here we are in Chicago at the City Winery. I want to take you through my setup I'm using tonight. Fans of the band will notice it's a stripped down version of what I use overseas in the UK and Europe just simply because it's too much gear to bring, but I do usually use bass pedals, Roland PK5 bass pedals, which MIDI up through this Roland A33 controller to the brain, the Korg Micro X, which is basically just a mini version of the Korg Triton. But I love it because this my setup kind of reminds me of a sort of Ray Manzarek vibe was sort of what I was going for, especially with the pedals. Fun Lemon Criminals use some backing tracks. We always have it. We feel it's an important element of the band, the kind of New York hip hop beats and what have you. So for years, we've run tracks through all different things, dat tapes back in the 90s and even mini disc players and uh, I mean everything you can think of but we've, we've rested with the Pioneer XDJ for playing backing tracks just simply because it's a workhorse and they're really tough any DJ knows it's it's the the top of the range gear so we love playing our beats off there which is cool because we could send a direct channel to Frank that has the click track in it just for him to be able to follow along where we are and and we have a single mono mix of the backing tracks, which sound guys hate because they want to have all this independence, but we like to not give them too much. They already got their hands full. You know what I'm saying, Scott? That's Scott right. hiding over there, he knows. <laughs> With the Korg Micro X, this really is my, my favorite little synth because being that it has the Triton brain, it's got so many different sounds and categories between keyboards and organ, bells, strings, brass, and you got all these individual outputs from this keyboard. And what's funny is that it was discontinued after a few months because no one liked that it only had the two octaves, but that's what I reminded me of Ray Manzarek. But depending on which song I'm playing, I can really get in, you know, have, if I'm on the song Big Night Out, I got my bass sounds, I got my... We can get really busy without being too loud. But then on other songs, say a song like Smoke em, which has the Doors vibe, you can get just a bass and a keyboard. I can get busy. So really, it's, it's very versatile for giving me all sorts of different sounds. I can put all the songs in there in alphabetical order, more, more or less. And this is really just, this is just the big version of this. So all my sounds are coming off this keyboard, whether I'm playing it on the A33 controller or down on the pedals when we're back in the UK, they're not here today. Um, and that's really why these they discontinued and they're not really hard to find. They're just hard to keep up to date, but we get them fixed up every you know, year. We get them serviced with this amazing guru who lives down in the southwest of England. He's a synth master and he breaks it all open so we can say that these are still workhorses. And notice the customization with the coffee cup lid, which here keeps me from changing the song by accident, something they didn't think of. So that must have been a, a slight design flaw that Korg had when they released these things, not realizing that people can just switch the song. So yeah, with this setup, I just love having, you know, a bit of, it's kind of vintage, but it isn't. It's pieced together. Um, but then we do have the old school here where we have our various harmonicas in different keys, depending on which songs we're playing. And that's pretty much my setup apart from my favorite guy, which is the horn, my first instrument I played. That and handbells in church, but that always leads the people laughing at me when I talk about that. But anyone who knows handbell, but what, see already over here, Charlie Otto, <laughs> laughing right at me. But if you've ever heard a handbell choir play, it's pretty awesome. Anyway. So yes, got my flugelhorn, which is like the sixth or seventh one, because you see it's been put through battle. It's not an expensive one. I think this is what any parent would give their kid as their my first flugelhorn, so, but I do love the sound of it. It's hard when you're kind of running around, moving around a lot in a band to get right back to your mic, so it's always good to have little portable mics. So we got a nice little, not wireless. See, I'm not a fan of wireless because I always get sabotaged and they cut in and out. So I like wired. You know, I think back in the 70s, like remote controls for your TV, when it first came out, was on a big like 30 foot wire. I don't know if you know that, but you'd have to press it on, off, and like go up, down channel. That's all you had. Now everything's wireless, but I will try to always be wired as long as I can. I just gotta get all that spit of the past two weeks out of it, so. Oh, see, it is coming out just slowly. It's disgusting. <laughs> Is 
that's the thing. All this technological stuff, and this is the one that gives you the problem. You know, being from New York, it's important that I uh, never shut the fuck up. And uh, that's why it's important I have a microphone here. And my, my Irish friend, Robert Tucker, out there will tell you, your voice needs to be heard. Again, wired, not wireless. So this ancient instrument <laughs> from a bygone era is called a harmonica. And yes, that's correct. I do tape over the holes I'm not using to cheat. It's impressive. But a great instrument nonetheless, and in the key of C. And we've got an E, so we can get busy. Win me B. That was a good little run. Hey, thank you guys for spending some time with me and my equipment. I'm Fast from Fun Loving Criminals. Come check out our band on the socials. It's uh, Linktree, Fun Loving Criminals. And we hope to see you at a show soon. Thank you very much. Peace.